So have you ever wondered how to make clear ice? Like those, like that ice that you get in the bar um, with uh, your favorite cocktail? Well, I'm gonna show you in this upcoming video how to do that. Stay tuned. So I've tried a lot of different devices and gizmos to try and make those ice balls or big square blocks, but they always turn out to be cloudy. It's like a, I like the really clear ones, but how do you do it? You know, I did like a lot of people and Googled it and found out that uh, you need to directionally freeze it. Well, that's a fancy word for put it in something where that's got insulated size so it freezes from the top down, pushes all the air bubbles down and leaves you with that nice chunk of ice. Most of the time folks are putting in a small cooler or something like that. The problem with that is you only get a few blocks and then you got to do it again. So what I did is uh, go ahead and fill up the flavor saver with some water. And uh, I've, I've let this sit out uh, outside here for, I don't know, maybe a couple of hours. And so let's see if we can get this thing out of here. It's going to leak some. That's okay. That's why I'm outside here. And hopefully this... Uh, tablecloth my wife doesn't care about I hope all right so here's your big chunk of ice here so uh, you see it's nice and clear down the sides now what you want to do is you want to score it you know and, and, and you can just use a knife like this see how I'm scoring it right there you know but because I also like tools as much as I like grilling I like to use a saw and I'm just going to score it just like that. And then I've got uh, my old hammer here. And I'm just going to go, oh, just like that. And you get a nice uh, nice chunk of ice. Just like that. Let's try that again here. And I'm going to score this thing. see how oh, we've got a beautiful clear piece of ice and this on the bottom here we're gonna cut this off in a minute. I'm gonna just keep going ahead and cutting here. <laughs> it's a nice fall day and Like that. So now I'm getting these nice little chunks going here. You know, and there's still a little bit of white on the end here. That's all the air bubbles that were pushed from the top. It's pretty easy. You just kind of chip it off. And that's why these nice solid chunks of ice are so sought after because they they melt real slow. So I'm gonna just kind of dunk that in there. And oh, look at this beautiful, beautiful piece of ice. Crystal clear. Yeah, so after I do that, so it's a pretty easy process. It's a little bit messy. That's why I like to do it outside. And just chop this ice off here. It's all cloudy. And then I like to rinse it off and make sure we load this big chunk of ice. Now the next thing is uh, you may have seen uh, some different types of shapes. This is uh, a diamond shape here and let's uh, let's watch how this thing works. This nice clear ice. Get that one going. Let's get this one here going. Is right there. Nice. 
<laughs> yeah, I like the squares are really nice too, rectangles. It's really an impressive little trick. It's very easy to do. It takes, uh, you put it in the freezer for about uh, 24 hours is what I did. Um, then I let it uh, sit outside uh, to, uh, to thaw a little bit. So let's check this, let's check this out. It looks like this one's done. And look at that, a perfectly clear diamond. drink let's try it the, uh, let's try the ball here and just like that crystal clear now isn't that so impressive for your guests one great use for the flavor saver because of the uh, thick insulated sides that keeps your uh, your meat warm after uh, after a long cook the same insulation that also slows down the freezing process pushes all the air to the bottom and this is how you end up with these wonderful clear blocks of ice. Thanks for tuning in. See you again next time. I'm Ian Hill from Smoking Products.